They must have come this way. Think! They say you're hard to hit. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefy! You there! Let me go. See you! I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Stop right there! Happened. I've never been accosted in Stachia. I'm so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical, hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioneer, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent.
This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion. You got the map. Now, what to do about these pyres? Levioso. Akio. Levioso. Flames make the pyre sink. Curious. The pyres are back where they started. Incendio. These pyres are meant to be lit. Incendio. Hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books.
It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty.
the orders of someone from the Ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Point for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld Potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. Fine job brewing your first Wiganweld Potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. 
I assure you he won't. Whoop, feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Your potion should not be... Is I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wigan Weld potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. A pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wigan Weld potion on their first try. Well done. Professor Sharp didn't seem as impressed as you are. Don't take it personally. Professor Sharp wouldn't be impressed by a troll reciting the tales of Beetle the Bard backwards. And in Gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation, is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Here's the flopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Should you chop the Dibney or crush it? Wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it! Oh! No! Dragon done! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. My Wiganwell potion's utter rubbish. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learnt a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was sceptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. 
Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Fee. Scrope can help you, and you... the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough.
I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh, <laughs> Eliazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks.
before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your travelling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's the glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait! We do... Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir? <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place.
I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why.
I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really good. A few cobwebs and some dust. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl. 
but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? 
Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Ah, up there. We're close now, it's just ahead. yourself! their privacy. That portkey led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. was a noted seer. Interesting. Enchanted crystallized stone again, but what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! How 
odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the portkey container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, no <nowhere> way here. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Your wife's portkey. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. Inside the cars, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many vaults are there in Greenbox? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to Vault Number Twelve. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On you, way. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore.
When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Closer and try again. A door? Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. the ground is swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. 
It does follow the light. seem to be leading me somewhere. I'm on my own this time. Lumos.
you are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful.
Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain... expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. 
a certain sense of... Mm, what is it? desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. Mm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Possess a willingness to forge your head alone when you must. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. You belong in Ravenclaw! And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. 
You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. That's just brilliant, just Army. For the right really? moment. You think you could. Ah! Oh, must it's be. It's not how that. Interesting. Interesting. One moment. Watch this. Ugh. What is this? Someone <laughs> threw a dung box. <coughs> <coughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm glad to be here, ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett.
That's just brilliant, Amit. Brilliant. You think you could? Ah. Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I hope astronomy is on my schedule. It sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you! I'm not sure this is the right spot. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones! I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wivenwild Potion? It is! Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about Wivenwild Potion. Of course! I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory, it seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wigan Weld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Dittany. Thank you. And good luck to you, too, on your first day. Hey there, New Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You had best not keep her waiting. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource.
Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Lumos. Revelio. Clever, isn't it? <laughs> Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. <laughs> 